Hi, I'm Robert. I come to you as an automobile enthusiast that has maintained, serviced, and repaired my own vehicles in excess of 30 years. I currently drive a car with over 230,000 miles on it, and I once had a car that had over 400,000 miles on it and ran very well. While you're watching the video, please watch a step or two ahead. Sometime the current step is better explained in the next step or two. Also, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you benefit from the information. This little video will show you the location of the OBD, OBD2 port and how to scan the car for codes. First thing you do in the center console, you see the little uh, coin holder there. You grab that coin holder up in the front, lift it out, and if you look at it, on the front of it, it says OBD2. So, now you see the port there. You take your instrument and you plug it in. Make sure you're pins are straight and they go down in there smoothly you sometimes you'll hear your your uh, gauge connect like mine did you turn the car ignition on so that you have all your lights but you don't start it and then you press the read button and it'll scan your computer for error codes and if you got a meter like mine it'll ask you to select the type of vehicle you have once it uh once it does its scan so let's see what happens here one moment okay i'm gonna hit fun for check my trouble codes i'm gonna go down here to volvo hit fun again and i have this uh 171 system two lean i got two codes check the next one a 422 catalytic converter efficiency that could be a rear O2 sensor or the catalytic converter is going bad. So those are the two codes stored in here on this car. So after you do that, you turn the car off. You unplug the thing and put the dust cap back on it. If you got any questions, Go ahead and post them here. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.